Okay, guys, that wraps up today's episode. And we successfully survived day three. Did we just get a wandering horde come through? Oh, shit! Talk about counting your zombies before they hatch, man. I'll tell you what. Can't take me anywhere. Welcome back, everybody, to Seven Days to Die on Alpha 21. This is the Dead is Dead series, and I'm an old guy gaming. And uh, we are, excuse me, we're on Life 3, which is as far as we've ever gotten. Uh, so far <laughs> since I started this series. Uh, and uh, no, I'm sorry. Well, yeah, we're on life three, but we're also on day three. Let's just start this fucking thing over again. Welcome back, everybody, to Seven Days to Die. I'm an old. I left my. Uh, one. Okay, start over. Welcome back, everybody, to Seven Days to Die on Alpha 21.1. This is the Dead is Dead series. I'm an old guy gaming. And this is the actual start. <laughs> I thought I'd throw a couple bloopers in there for you guys. Uh, yeah, anyway, so this is uh, life three and a day three. The furthest we have indeed uh, gotten, uh, as far as long as we've gotten in this um, in this little series we're doing here. Uh, so what we're going to do today is we're going to go to the trader. We're going to well, sell a few things to to him, and then we're going to take their, their first job. So let's see here. Uh, we have some stuff in here. So let's see. Is that enough? Yeah, we could. That's enough to to make a couple of pieces of coin anyway. Uh, let's see if we can repair this. Okay, good. Um, we'll put this back in here. We don't need this extra shirt, so we can sell that to him. I want to hang on to this stuff because uh, it could be useful to us at some point here in the very near future. Um, let's keep the cobblestone too. We'll keep the leather poncho. We want to keep the plastic for, uh, the dew collector. This water we need to turn into, uh, water. Uh, looks like we already have some, uh, wood in there. So let's get that going. Okay. Uh, we'll sell these because they're not doing us any good. We'll put all this stuff in here. Obviously we want to sell the, that, um, We'll hang on to the ammunition. Well, actually, you know what? I think I'm going to sell that now because we, we could use the money right now. This, I think we're going to sell too. I mean, it would be nice to have, but we need the money right now. Okay, so yeah, everything else in here then. Man, it's already noon. Yeah, that's right. I guess we spent the first part of this. It's actually been a couple of days in real life since I last recorded. Um, I've been doing a lot of... Ark Survival Evolved on the Fjorder map for uh, anybody who might be interested in watching me play Ark. I have over 3,000 hours in Ark, but I took a, like a two and a half year break from it, so I'm still kind of uh, trying to get back into it. But it's uh, next to this game, it's also one of my all-time favorite survival games. Uh, so yeah, shameless plug there. Come and see me uh, get eaten by dinosaurs. Anyway, let's go ahead and grab this. And no, that's not a Dead is Dead series either, by the way. <laughs> a Dead is Dead Ark would be a very short series. Um, well, depending upon your settings, I suppose. All right. Anyway, yeah, let's go. We're going to head on out and we're going to go say hello to the trader and get a job. Okay. Let's make sure there's no nasties around. We might as well loot whatever we can out of here. And if we do get any seeds, we will actually hang on to them. You know, one thing I was thinking too, and let me let me know what you guys think in the comments. You know, my when I started this series, I've said that what we would do is we would go until the end of Horde Night 21. I'm I'm wondering if even that might be a little bit long because you know the whole the whole thing about this is that once I you know kind of survive the first few days, then after that it's just really normal gameplay. Um, it's very, not impossible, of course, but it's very rare that I will die, you know, even on these settings, once I kind of get my feet under me, you know? So, I don't know, maybe what we should do is just go to, um, day, uh, or day seven, and then, you know, start over from there, perhaps. 
But let me know what you guys think in the comments. Um, because if you if you want me to actually keep it going until 21, um, then we, oh shit, then we can do that. Okay, I need to pay attention here. Okay, Yo should be going down pretty soon. Let's take one of these. Yo's not dead? Okay, he just died. Give me my arrow back, dude. Shit. There we go. Okay. Eat a knife, darling. Yeah, I'm sitting here jibber-jabbering. Need to pay attention, OG. All it takes is one death and it's all over but the crying, baby. Anyway, uh, yeah, so let me know what you guys think. If we should take it all the way to 21 or if we should um, just go to, to like the end of day 7. And then that way we can start new and just kind of keep having fun. Because, again, it's just, you know, once we get our feet under us, it's just not that dangerous anymore. At least not for me because I'm so used to playing on these settings, you know. But I'll, I'd like to hear from you. Now, the other thing we could do, too, is if you guys are more interested in seeing Navis gain X21, then what we could do is convert this series into just a normal series for the purpose of, of seeing Navis gain X21. Um, but then we could continue the Dead is Dead series like on a on different map or something. So that's that's an option too. Just let me know what you, what you guys want. And we'll go from there. Uh, oh, wow, look at that find. Damn, son. That is nice. That now serves an anvil. Okay. We can just keep getting a few more of these things that we can then take and sell to the trader. We can come back and get that cement later. I didn't. Did I bring that shovel with me? I don't think I did. Plus, we're getting encumbered, so uh, yeah, we need to we need to get over to the trader because I if I'm chased now, I'm in trouble. They uh they changed this up, didn't they? This carport used to come out a lot further, and then you could easily cheese the fat loot right from underneath the carport. Hmm. Yeah, that's different. Okay. We'll have to investigate that. Maybe we'll even get a uh, a quest for it. We've already looted everything here, right? Yeah, we have. Okay. Let's hop in here. Yeah. Okay. So... We will. What do we have for coin right now? We have nothing. Not nothing. Hmm. Then we had a few coins, but I guess we're not. Okay. Okay. So those are all the things that we want to sell. He's got a purple stone shovel for forty-two hundred. No, I don't think so. No, I don't think so, man. Uh, all right. So we definitely want to save money for this or we could just get all you know through all of the tier one quests and we could get um a filter from that but we also get a bicycle and i think of the two the bicycle is gonna be gratitude probably better safe travels friend okay so let's take a job from you uh here's a clear zombies it's just 205 Can meters away me a favor? it's husky manor why do i get the feeling like there's dogs at husky manor hmm well let's try it and I see what can't happens thank you enough friend. I guess I have some lockpicks. Let's see if we can open this. See if we get lucky. Huzzah! Look at that. Wow. Nice. Let me steal your money to you, buddy. Nice. Damn. Hey. Look. Look. Look what we can do. It's a beautiful thing. And we still have some money left over to buy some water. Wow, that was that was fortuitous. Okay, so now we just gotta gather up a shit ton of plastic, um, and we need pipes too. But I already have some of those, so uh, let's see. Yeah, we only need four pipes, and we'll have to, you know, of course, do glue. But we can make that in the campfire if nothing else. And so yeah, we're just gonna have to prioritize getting plastic. Wow, that that was great. That worked out really good. Okay, so um. Our quest location is over this way, back towards our house, which is good, because then we can stop off at the house and drop a couple things off. Let's do that, and then we'll go do this quest at this husky place. 
which I don't even know what, what the husky place is. I mean, I might recognize it, but I don't know the... Um, I don't recognize the name, but I might re recognize the place. How about if we make this an actual door that we can use? What the hell? Excellent. Okay, let's put some stuff away and then we'll head over to this quest location. I'm just kind of stored everything in the kitchen for now. I'll worry about, uh, you know, sorting it out and all that later. I forgot to sell the this. Okay, let's take that with us and we'll sell it when we go back. We're doing good on beverage. Um, I would normally keep that with us for... You know, abrasions, but I don't think I will, just because, you know, space is so limited right now. Okay, yeah, let's just take that much with us. All right, let's head over here and see what this place is all about. Machine gunner, fully automatic fire is more accurate with each shot fired. And we got a level and a skill point. All right, you know what? Let's go over here and take a look at that. I think what we'll do for our next level is we will go into 69er. That way we can break blocks a little more quickly. And it'll make us a little more effective at mining when the time comes. I guess we'll take that stuff. Is this... This isn't actually where we're going, is it? Or is it? Oh, it is. Okay. Hmm. The whole husky thing has got me a little nervous because, you know, dogs and all. Dogs in this game, kind of dangerous, in case you didn't know. I guess we could climb up here to get away from dogs. If we had to. Let's grab this wood. There's a Marlene over there. She did. You know what? Our health's actually not that great, is it? Um, I think what I'm going to do is take this. And then let's just throw back a couple of waters to counter the thirst effect. And I want to keep this because this will also take care of bleeding if we get it. In addition to healing us. Okay, so let's start the quest. And we'll go back. Didn't see that bird's nest there the first time. Or did I? I don't remember. Let's get the wood again, and then we'll also hit the mailbox again. And the car. Knife guy. Take that. Don't give a shit about that. Ooh, we can make a bone quality knife too. Okay, so once we get five bones, we will do that. 10% more damage to vultures. That's probably my favorite animal magazine in this game. Because vultures suck. And there's one more bird's nest over here. Okay, let's do this. Um, it wants us to go in this way. This is a clear... Let's take an extra torch, and it wants us to go in. Wait, does it want us to go in this way? I don't think so. I think it wants us to go up this way. Let's get ready for a vulture. This seems like an awfully big place for a tier one quest, you know? Trying to see if there's any Zeeks in here. If we jump across, we're going to make too much noise. OK, 
Okay, do we have a collapsing floor? Let's grab this. Nice. Bet you we have a collapsing floor. Yep. That's what I thought. Okay, um, I don't know if I'm going to play this game or not. Because jumping down there is not going to be go well for us. So you know what we're going to do instead is we're going to go back down and go through that window. Uh, because the chances of us surviving this jump, if there's even one zombie in there, let alone more, are almost zilch. We'd have to get super lucky with a couple of criticals. All right, so let's... Oh, shit. Oh, we're lucky. We are lucky we didn't get a sprain or anything worse. Um, It's actually that room there, isn't it? Yes, it is. Okay. All right, so... What? Okay, I see a red dot. Possibly in the closet there. It's dark as hell. Let's, um... There's something blocking that. Right here. Let's just check these... Look at these bookshelves, man. This is wonderful. Pistol Pete. High power ammunition, which I never use in this game. Because by the time you get to the point where you can craft it, most of your enemies are armored anyways. So I never really saw the point. Damage to humans and zombies. Ooh. Actually, you know what? That's also one of the best animal books. Cornbread and goldenrod tea. Okay, we just need... Can we make grilled meat? Whoops. Um, grilled... Nope, not yet. Okay, that's one we need to unlock, because once we unlock that, then food's no, no longer a problem. But we're not quite there yet. All right, so... I think what I want to do here is... Let's get rid of this rail. Oh. No. I thought I saw a zombie standing in the corner. Okay, now can we put that there? Yes, we can. All right. It's an Edgar. Nice juke, dude. Come here. Closer. All right, you know what? Don't you dare sneak in here, you bastard. Whew. Okay. Okay, you know what we're going to do is... Let's pick that up, and we're going to move our operation back one level as soon as Edgar gets his ass out of the way. And we're going to continue to use this as a place to retreat, at least for for the moment. Let's just upgrade these blocks. And you know what else I'm going to do? I'm going to do this. There we go. Okay. Let's proceed here. Put those back down there for the moment. Chance for some more clothing here. Uh, nope. Not quite what I had in mind, but... 
don't think there's anything up on that shelf. I know we're not supposed to go this way, but... Nobody's in there. Okay, I think we got somebody in here. Whoa, that scared me. Steve, get closer. I think there's something else blocking him or something. You know, one of you guys told me in the comments... Or suggested to use a uh, of some bars instead of the blocks, and I think that's actually a good idea. So why don't we take half of these and just make them into the bars? No, not the centered bars. These bars. We just have to make sure that we have them going the right way before we set them. So that way it gives us a little more, you know, maneuver, maneuverability. Okay, so this gives more cold but less heat. This gives more heat but less cold. I think I'd rather have a little more heat resist than cold at this point. There we go. Um, same thing though. Yeah, so these would give more cold, so we'll, we'll just end up selling those probably. All right, that's it for this room. Hmm, okay. Maybe. I don't think anybody's going to be in here because I don't see any red dots. Ooh, look at that place. A little bit of water. Yeah, we're, you know, we're I'm definitely doing this in the wrong order. That's interesting. Can she not get over here? There you go. No, that's not our arrow. Okay, so that just goes into that room that goes up in the attic. Okay, let's go back and do this the right way because we, I mean, we have to kill everybody anyway, so we just got a little bit of a head start as all. Well. Okay, I got two red dots down there. do that. Um, all right. We're going to do this. And we're going to do this. Let's put the light down so we can see what we're doing. Worked out pretty good. Put 
let's keep that blocked off for the moment. Close that, get rid of this. Whoops. Yeah, great idea. Uh, whoever left me that comment on using the bars. It's actually a very good idea. Okay, we got a red dot that direction somewhere. Possibly coming down from the roof, maybe? Or maybe we just can't see them on the other side of this island here. That's interesting. Where the hell are they at? Well, let's eat that right now. I suppose they could be above us. Before we leave this house... Oh, it's a creepy crawly, I think. Yeah. No wonder I couldn't see him. Uh, before we leave this house, we need to get all the plastic in here that we, we can get. Wow, he was really well hidden. I wasn't expecting a creepy crawl. I was expecting, you know, like a standing or at least lying down Zikaru. All right, so quick escape if we need it. None of those guys are lootable. We have, I think, an Edgar in there. These um, archways can be a little bit tricky sometimes to block. There we go. Okay, let's grab our other torch. And you know what? Just in case we get a visitor from the outside, let's also block that too. Okay. Right in the noggin. Come on, Iger. He did. Okay, we got another red dot that way. I can just barely see them. It looks like it's a Darlene. This is going to be it. Really threading the needle. Okay, let's see if we can hit him in the hands. <laughs> One more try. Nope, that's not working too well. All right, um, that doesn't work either. We need to make some noise. What if we, yeah, see they're right around the other side there. All right, here's what we're gonna do. Let's put that back there. We're going to change these to, no, 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 no. We're going to change these back to blocks because it'll just let me get it down a little more quickly. Well, so much for that idea. Damn it, Jim. We're good. Come on upstairs, dummy. There you go. He took half our health down, man. In fact, you know what? We're going to take this now because you guys know what I'm going to say, don't you? A bandage in the hand is better than one on your toolbar when you're dead. Especially when you're playing dead is dead. So 
those are those are rules to live by, man. That just goes outside. Okay. Okay, so I think we are good to proceed now because I don't see any more red dots. And in fact, I'm seeing the yellow dot, which means we're really close to wrapping this sucker up. It's just that I have a sneaking suspicion that the red dot we're going to, or the last enemy we're going to have to fight is a dog. So that's going to be fun. But we got to get it done. We'll have to figure it out. Okay, up this way. We took care of that Zeke already. This way. Back into here. Up here. Is there anything down here? There's a... There's a trash in there. Is this 500 hit points? Yeah, screw that. I'm not going to be up for a trash. Oh, I left my other torch. Okay, well, at least we have a door here, so that's going to that's gonna help a lot. You know what? I don't want to forget my other torch. Let me go get it real quick. Okay. Um, Let's turn these back in. That's not what I meant to do. Close that door. Uh, let's turn these back into bars. So that way, if it is a dog, we can shoot through the bars. I think, if I remember, I think the dog breaks out of that wall there. Oh man, this is not going to be safe. Okay. Let's do that. Yep, see, there's a dog right there. He is, however, presenting his head to us. broke that faster than I was expecting him to. Okay, we'll wait. We'll wait for him to break through. Got him. Whew. Okay. You scary, man. Not anymore, though. Grab that arrow. Okay, we got a medical pile. All right, we'll read that. Some ammunition, which we can sell to the trader. Let's check the fat loots. Beautiful. Oh, look at that. We already have our, our knife. Uh, let's, re let's scrap this and repair this. Check the chamois crate. Give us something good like, you know, hobo stew or something. Oh, uh, that's good. And we're going to eat those straight up. Grab those arrows. Okay, we also have a duffel bag over here. With some glue. Nice. We need that. All right. Um, I'm going to grab all of this stuff because uh, we need the bones for potentially for glue. And, uh, yeah. So... Let's hit anything we can that's plastic. That's going to be cloth, right? Yeah. I mean, we can use some of that too, but I'm more interested in plastic at this point. I don't think we get plastic out of this, do we? That's just cloth too. Um, do we get plastic from these? Yes, we do. Okay. Um, You know, I guess the other thing is that I could just come back here later and do this uh, if we want to do our turn in, which I kind of do, so 
Yeah, let's go do our turn in right now. Before it gets too late. And we are encumbered too. Um, we cannot be encumbered, so let's go ahead and stash a few things in here that we can come back for later. Where does that put us? Okay, we still need two more things. Let's just turn these into scrap metal. Um, we're going to sell that stuff, so we'll put the cloth in there. I can come back for, for that later, and we'll put the plastic in there. Okay. Now we're not encumbered. All right, let's go do our turn in real quick. And try not to die in the process. Now we're all prices are okay. fair here. Let's see. Crafting skill magazine bundle, 10 Molotovs, 500 cobblestones. Damn, son. That's tempting. But you know what? I mean, we can make cobblestone, though. We can't really easily make those. And they would come in handy, but I gotta. I think we're going to go for the crafting skill magazine bundle. All right, next job. Whatever's closest, we got to fetch kindly help Ranger Station Foxtrot. It's rare I think that's the one that's up on the mountain. Yeah, we can do that. All right, let's see what we get here. Two tactical warfares. Not particularly useful at this point in time. Clubs are useful to us, and these are not. So, yeah, that was kind of a bust, but whatever. Okay. Uh, we're going to sell this. We're going to keep those for our pistols. Uh, for our pistol, rather. That, that, that needs to be repaired. Um, that we should hang on to. He doesn't want any of those. Uh, we'll sell the lead. We'll sell the nitrate. And I think we want to keep Gratitude. everything else, yeah, except for let's repair friend. this. And sell that for another 96 coin. Ah, all right, did we God, buy all sir. of your water? Food. I think they we did. Saying you. Did we get all the water out of here? We did. Um, well, we still have five waters and a golden rod, so I think we're okay, actually. I think I'm going to hang on to our coin for the moment. Okay, we got to get out of here. Where's our house at? This way. Okay, guys. That wraps up today's episode. And we successfully survived day three. So day four will be further and farther than we've ever been. What I'm going to do is just hunker down in the house here. Uh, wait till morning. Did we just get a wandering horde come through? Man, of all the rotten luck. Maybe we haven't survived this day yet. Okay. Quick, 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 quick. We gotta get this upgraded. I spoke too soon, didn't I? Oh shit. I definitely spoke too soon. Damn it, Jim. Okay. Let's go this way. <laughs> this is not good. We've got feral sense on. It's nighttime. All right. Let's see if we can get back into here. That was way too many Zeeks for us to do anything about. We can't do that. Okay, let's upgrade this so we don't take any chances. Talk about counting your zombies before they hatch, man. I'll tell you what, can't take me anywhere. Okay, I guess what we're gonna do is spend the night in this house. 
And um, we have some plastic while we're here, right? Let's get all that stuff. But I need to actually be quiet, though, because the thing is, if I, if I go around and do a bunch of shit, it's just going to attract the zombos. So I think I am going to just hunker down. Not going to do anything or make any noise. When morning comes, I'll just go around and grab all the rest, as much plastic as I can, go back home. And uh, then we'll start to the next episode at that point. Oh, boy. That was close. Let's take one of these, too. <laughs> okay, guys. Thanks, everybody, for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share out the video, and we'll catch you all in the next episode. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.